Formula One is a sport that has amazed, stunned, and at times horrified the world for over 70 years. But as the sport enters a new age of technology and awareness, what does its future look like? Environmentalism would have been a word never spoken of in motoring circles back in 1950, but today it is very much at the forefront of decision making. With the increasing awareness of environmentalism, where does F1 now stand and what does its future look like? Will we see the sport morph into a hyper-conscious Formula E series or will the old school romantics of the sport bring back the fire-breathing V12s purely in the name of thrill and noise? In response to all this, F1 has pledged to become carbon neutral by 2030. But is that realistic? F1 journalist David Tremaine believes while it may be a bold target, if there is anyone who could make such a target work, it'll be the minds and the technology of motorsport. We've also got a promise in 2030 by the Prime Minister of uh, only electric cars being on sale as new vehicles in the UK. That is a stupid comment. It was designed purely for as a political comment to suit the time. But the difference between governments and politicians is that in Formula One, there are a huge number of incredibly clever people who don't just talk. They do. They do things. They're working on things even now. When we get, I think it's 2025, when we get a new Formula One engine, I'm going to be fascinating fascinated to see what technology that embraces but you can bet your life Formula One is going to be at the cutting edge and when, you, when Formula One people think about things and I mean the engineers not only is it um, not only are they very clever but they think laterally so it's not just about lap time on a racetrack which uh, at his base is a fairly unimportant activity, isn't it? Might be something we enjoy, but it's not world saving. But the spin-off from it very definitely can be. And if anyone can come up with clever ways of engineering, clever, innovative ways of being carbon neutral by a given date, it's these kind of people because Formula One specifically, but also endurance racing or whatever, is a crucible for development. Tremaine thinks F1's future is a green one, but would like to see its technological findings expanded to other, wider purposes. Hey, all this technology is extremely green technology, but we need to task these people with developing all these newer technologies for a broader consumption, which is where I think a liaison between Formula One and um, at government levels would be beneficial to both parties. So I think, yes, we're definitely going to see a lot greener. You have to, you have to evolve. And, you know, we lost tobacco advertising. There's no drinking advertising in Formula One as such. Times change. So Formula One will have to evolve. Like I said, we've got very thermally efficient engines already, which the trouble is Formula One does not blow its own trumpet. And it needs to start yeah. doing that. But like I said, I'd love to see a liaison between government and Formula One to think of the future, because then politicians don't have to come out with these silly statements. They can actually have a, a proper process by which they achieve these rather lofty aims that sound good, but don't have any basis for how they're going to achieve them. Can you see government and F1 cooperation? You know, Can you see Boris Johnson having a meeting with Total Wolf or something like that? I'd like to. I'd love to be a fly on the wall if it happened. Um, yes, I don't see why it shouldn't if you get the right government ministers and departments involved. You know, it's fashionable to sort of deride any government, isn't it? But there are, there are smart people in government, just as there are in Formula One. But I think if they're tasked with in the correct way, they could all come out of this extremely well. It's not clear to see what F1's future will look like in the coming years, but there are genuine green motives all at the top of Formula One. Yet only time will tell whether a greener outlook will inhibit the integrity and unrestricted thrill of motorsport.